Welcome back everyone. This is my second video where I'm going to take a look at the dynamic content feature of Page Builder Pro 5. Um, I've been having a look at this one since my first video and rather than walk through the entire process because it's a little bit long-winded, um, as a demo I've, I've used an example client I've got where they sell farm vehicles and we've got this time I'm going to show you how the related content works so you can link one collection with another which basically is there to remove the need for duplication of content. So in terms of databases, if you're aware of anything to that effect, um, without the ability to link two content sections together, um, you would have to add on one, say one farm vehicle, you have to upload the logo for the brand every single time, the manufacturer name, manufacturer website, perhaps any other details with it. You'd have to add those to each vehicle by linking collections, um, you can populate a manufacturer and populate a vehicle, but link the vehicle to the manufacturer, and pull the content details across to that page and that item without having to add them all again, if that might make sense of a show you. So I've got set up here, I've got a dynamic content index page, which basically shows me every vehicle that I've added to the website. I've got three examples here. And I've set up, although it's not linked to the menu system, I've set up the individual pages now for the detail of each item here. So I have styled it a little bit, very, very minor. But if I click on this first image, I will now see the information page for that specific piece of machinery. So I've got the image, the logo of the manufacturer, a link to the manufacturer website, the title and the description in there as well. We can also set up filters. So if you've got multiple manufacturers, for example, and you want to be able to show visitors to your website just a page of Domai, just a page of class, then you can filter a page as well so that you can just show vehicles from that one manufacturer. So if there's multiple class items in here, that only the class ones would show up on this page. I'm going to show you now how this all works behind the scenes and how it's set up. So inside Page Builder now, which you may well know about already, we've got dynamic content. And in here we can set up what Page Builder refer to as collections. So a collection is just a, a bunch of individual items that share the same details for each one. So I've got manufacturer as one collection where I've set up class, Demai and John Deere. And if I edit a manufacturer, we'll say that I've set up the manufacturer name, the logo, and also the URL for the manufacturer's website. I've done the same for Domai, John Deere. If you want to edit these, for example, you can edit that collection and you will see inside here that I've set the basic fields, always one it has to have, and that's the text field, which is I've called that manufacturer name. I've then got a, a field, an image field for the logo uh, and also a URL field for the manufacturer's website. For a vehicle, very similar. So I've set up in the vehicle collection information, if I edit it, we've got the model name as a standard field. We've got vehicle description, again, text field, vehicle image, which is an image field. And this time, the, the manufacturer is actually linked to the manufacturer details so I actually can't show that on here which is a bit of a shame if I add another custom field and I do a reference I can reference a manufacturer so that's what that does and I can select when I edit this the items in here what manufacturers linked to. I'm not going to save that because I've got two so you need both collect you need the original collection set up first so manufacturer before I can then link an item of the vehicle collection to that manufacturer. So I'm going to discard the changes there. So all that actually does, so now if I edit a vehicle, it'll make a bit more sense. So because I've linked the manufacturer now, in the vehicle I've got model name, vehicle description, it will automatically create the alias, which will be in the URL structure on the website, from the model name. So if that's got a duplicate model name, you'll have to add a separate email, uh, sorry, separate alias in here. And what you'll see now is at the manufacturer, I can now just select from the manufacturers in the manufacturer collection that I've added. 
I don't have to upload the logo, the website, the name, anything else about it. I just tell it this item is linked to the manufacturer of Domai and then that's all the association's done. So what we can do now, if I go back to admin, I've set up the dynamic content pages. So I want them on here. So if I go to pages, got the vehicle index page. So that vehicle index page is what will show each individual item in the vehicle collection to click on and find out more. I've then got a vehicle detail page, which is literally how an individual vehicle will look when clicked on from the index. So if I go to the index page, which is the grid of all the vehicles on the website at the moment, you will see that I've got all I've got in here is the image of the vehicle and model name. If I edit the collection, it's associated with the vehicle um, collection. Uh, I've got no change at the moment to any of the limits, any of the pages, the pagination I've turned on for the sake of it. Uh, I've left the layout and everything else the same. What I have done is styled the image a little bit. So I've um, not in that one, is it? Where is it on this page? I've added a border, a radius to the image, you know, something simple. Um, and what I can do in this is link it. I need to link that image if I want to be able to click on it and view more to a page. And it has to be the detail page of the collection in question. And again, for the heading, uh, the model name, sorry, again, I've got anybody that clicks that will click to the vehicle detail page of that specific item. Um, you can, if you want, have a URL, but that, that's menu item. That's not going to be the way quite how it's done. It needs to be the page in here to link it to. So now, because I've got this set up as a three-column grid, I've got a three column grid of at the moment the three machinery items I've added to the website. Not particularly exciting. What gets a little bit more useful now is if I go to edit the vehicle detail page, you will see what happens. So I've got the vehicle image and that vehicle image is from the vehicle collection. However, the image for the manufacturer logo it's actually now from, you'll see the association now here. I've linked the vehicle with the manufacturer and I can now select the manufacturer logo from the manufacturer collection, not the actual vehicle details itself. Same for the manufacturer website. I've linked that with the manufacturer, manufacturer website URL. Say the model name is just from the vehicle details. You can see how it's sub sort these into the specific details for the collection links there and again the vehicle description again is just from the vehicle collection so you can use fields from one collection in the detail page of another to save you duplicating so if you wanted to add a new manufacturer to your website for new vehicles all you would do was edit the manufacturer collection add the new manufacturer and then you can then add a vehicle and that will just show up automatically in a new item. Um, right, vehicles what I wanted. In the manufacturer box at the bottom. So you're saving you know, a lot of duplication of time. You can populate as many manufacturers as you want. Then either you or your client can then just add collection items. Tell it the manufacturer that's needed. They don't have to do any page design, any building, anything at all. And it was all published through there. Um, I think you've almost got to try that. I use this one as an example to try. Um, you can have more complicated collections if you look at, I haven't tried this one. This is potentially my next video. I got a little bit and I thought this is going to take a lot of time to show these through the even more complicated ones. So by default, um, I'm going to do it. I'm going to edit that collection. I'm going to save it though. You can have a multi-reference one. So this is a little bit reversed so that 
technically, the way that I've got it now, one manufacturer can have multiple vehicles beneath it. However, because I've not linked it from manufacturer to vehicle, I've gone from vehicle to manufacturer, it's not how that behaves. Um, I think the way that Doom Shape have used it on their own website is they've used the concept of events. So you will probably have a collection for event, a collection, for example, for speaker, a collection for location, perhaps. And you could link because one location would have multiple events and one event might have multiple speakers. That's when the multi-reference will come through. So that will let you inside the collection items associate multiple events with one location. Uh, if you had a location detail page, for example, you could select the multiple events for it. Um, vice versa, if you had an event going on, you'd be able to associate multiple speakers. Presume potentially the opposite way around, speakers with multiple events, you could have a speaker page and it would show their events beneath that in a grid or whatever layer you've got. So it's kind of quite powerful. I think there's a lot of, I say a lot of, I've seen a few comments suggest that they'd rather just use Joomla custom fields for this type of thing. Um, yeah, I guess you can. I think the disadvantage for me is that the, the layout of that then needs some custom work to do the layout overrides for the individual pages for those articles. I'm not aware natively that you can have the references going on between multiple collections and I'm fairly convinced there's not a single way natively in Joomla 5 to multi-reference. Somebody's going to correct me if I'm wrong, please do in the comments below. Um, but you can't have that, that, that multi-way association. You can have categories, tags, that type of thing, um, but that's not letting you pull data through from other collections and other you know you haven't got that collection concept in articles it doesn't work the same way so i think early days uh my hope is that in terms of the um the dynamic content pages themselves um i would love to see the ability to bring in uh, so if i look at a vehicle detail page um for example the content client i've got that does this uh we've got a video so you, they can add an embedded YouTube video uh, and we've used custom fields within Joomla. I think it might be the Tassos custom fields plugin to to add a video. So all the client does is pop a YouTube URL in and then that video shows up on the layout override for that vehicle. So at the moment, there's no, you know, there's not any complex field types in this one. Um, if I look at the collections, um, the custom field types, there is... That's what we've got. I'm, I'm not sure as yet what a switch does. I'm not quite sure how it's, that must be related to, I don't know. But there's no video. You've got rich text, image, email, phone, date, time. You know, there's nothing beyond that, those ones at the moment. So I'd love to see video in there. Um, it'll be quite nice in terms of a link, for example, so that the, the link itself um, can have text so visit my website then you put the link in beneath it and then that link is only for that text rather than it shows the url um, bits and bobs I, I think that type of thing would be really good i'm sure there's ways of cheating i suspect you could do a rich text field and copy the youtube embed your um, code pop it in there potentially and that kind of is a bit of a way around but it, it, it's get it's it's great as it is i think there's there's things to bring in this one certainly for content field types I'd also really love to see um, a filter where we can put a filter at the top of a page. If this has got 50, you know, 50 vehicles in, I would love to be able to go choose the manufacturer or that type of stuff, you know, have it filtered down, price, whatever fields you might be using in there. I think that'd be useful from a, a user perspective. However, you know, what I've missed out is how to do an individual model uh, brand manufacturer page as well which i'll quickly do that one i'm going to discard that one so inside the pages uh, i've got a page set up the index page for just class vehicles dead simple if i edit the collection um, i can filter and i can say the manufacturer or any other one of these i want equals that value and i can only select from the values it's got as soon as i apply that one save and close now the class vehicles page will only show vehicles from the manufacturer. So you could have 
you know, in this instance, it might be um, vehicles for sale. Drops down to class uh, John Deere, Dom I. You click it and you see the individual pages as well. So there's there's a few bits and bobs and, and ways of doing that one. So drop that in right at the end so that at least I've covered it because I nearly missed it there. Um, hope that was useful. It's certainly, as I'm getting my head around this, I'm seeing the potential of it more and more. Um, let me know of anything you, you're not sure about, anything you'd like to see in the comments. Uh, any other videos you'd like about Page Builder, Joomla, um, and the extensions that I use, or you know, I can certainly do a few videos again on those ones. So, thanks for watching. Take care.